Welcome everybody. How's it going? My name is Freddie J here for Freddie J Sports and I'm going to go ahead and lower the volume here. All right, we're going to turn that down a little bit. Yeah, that's still a little bit loud. All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for everybody for coming out. I really do appreciate it um, for this. This is actually a recording here. We're going to be testing out Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004 for the first time in several years. I haven't played this game in that long. I had this game on the Xbox, uh, the original Xbox. But since then, I've now purchased it for my PlayStation 2, got it uh, sized up to where I am able to play this in a much better resolution than before. So let's go ahead and get started here. Already made my game face. Oh, I did not make my game face. Did I not make my game face? Let me check here. Let's do, let's start out with EA Play. Let's do a sample game. Let, let's see what it gives us here. Welcome to Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2004. We've got a revolutionary new real-time analog swing and we want to make sure that you get the hang of it before we turn you loose on the links. Oh, I guess we're doing a tutorial here. Check out Tiger as he rips one right down the middle with a nice straight drive. And pay close attention to his transition between the backswing and the downswing. The timing is crucial. Lesson one, straight shot. The timing to downswing is key to full power. Now you try it. Keep it in the fairway and hit it more than 260 yards to move on to your next challenge. Best I can offer you is like 300 yards. Like, I'm telling you, like, you know, I, I, I know, I haven't played this game on, oh, I have to do it uh, with the D-pad. Like, I know pretty much, okay, cool. Uh, apparently, I'm not teeing it off. I'm hitting it with, I'm hitting, I'm hitting a driver off the fairway. Okay. I'll even, uh, even, uh, there we go. Had to add a little something, something Way on there. Way to go. Getting up and done is key for low scoring. Here, Put some spin on it. Sandwich from about 30 yards and going with a pitch shot to get it to the green. You can zoom in with the press of a button to check out your target before making the shot. Tiger's pretty good, but with some practice, you can be too. Knock a pitch shot onto the green and you'll move on. Alright, so I'm going to show off a little bit. There we go. Put some spin That'll on it. That'll do Got it. Got it close. Sometimes you have an obstacle between yourself and the flag, and you need to hit the ball high to clear it. Oh, uh, this is my Tiger favorite shot. This is one of my favorite shots right here. You should too. Choose what club to hit based on your distance hey, to now. the holes. Chill out. The lob wedge would work nicely from this position. Chill out, dog. Now, if I can learn how to do this shot in real life, oh my goodness, let me tell you, freaking, I will be eating this course up. The flop shot is a good choice. The flop shot is a good choice if the landing is small. All right. Goes up in the air, stops When you're in dead. the trees, you have to keep it low in order to advance the ball towards the green. As Tiger will tell you, your punch shot is just the trick for this shot, and typically your low and mid irons will work best. Don't tell me you're going to make that too. I was about to say, you're you better up. chill out, though. Don't think you have to fly it all the way to the target. Sometimes the best play is to try to roll it up to the front of the green. Knock it on the putting surface, and you can move on. Mm. 
Nice punch. It's easy to grip it and rip it full bore, but sometimes Tiger finds himself between clubs and he has to take something off a shot. Tiger can hit his lob wedge 100 yards with a full swing, so he shortens his backswing when he has to hit it shorter. To ease off on the power using your full shot, try taking the club back slowly and then push forward once you've reached the desired height on your backswing. If you can hit a shot on the green from this distance, I'll bet you'll never find yourself in a spot you can't handle. Yeah, this is what I need to learn in real life too, just to go in between clubs. Ooh. Well, not quite. Put it on the dance floor now. All right, let's let's try this again. Still doing it. Not quite what we need here. You can do it. See, he's nice now, but I know, you know, Faraday is going to be a little bit more rougher. Uh. There we go. This one takes practice. A delicate touch. You oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, then. This one takes practice. A delicate touch usually works best. Hey, there we As go. As another tool to help you with your short game, we've added a new chip shot this year. When you find yourself in a position where you can't quite put the ball to the hole, try a chip shot. Based on the club selected, the shot carry to roll ratio will be affected. Chipping with a five iron will generate minimal carry, but lots of roll. Chipping with the sand wedge may give you a more equal carry to roll ratio. Hit a chip shot onto the green and notice the ball's behavior. You'll be chipping like a pro in no time. Give it a try. Oh, wait, what? Look at that, look at that right there. Very nice, just like the pros. Of course, all those shots are important, but you can't be successful if you can't put it into the hole. Tiger's one of the best putters in the world, but only because he practices all the time and he can really read the greens. Notice the grid on the green. The break indicators moving on the grid will help you determine the break of the putt. All right, so now I can't it's your just turn. This one See in. that line on the green? That shows you where the putt would break if you were to aim it right at the hole. Move your aiming target left, right, up or down to pick the right spot to aim for, and let your putter do the rest. Drop it in there. There we go. And that will do it. Appreciate everybody for coming for this tutorial. And watch out for more coming up later. As always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow.